Shalom. I'm your brother Jeremiah from the branch of GMS South Carolina Midlands. Lord will this be edifying. Before I start off, all praise, all honor, and all glory belongs to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekakradash. Once again, all praise, all honor, and all glory belongs to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekakradash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well, the true leaders of Israel, and Shalom to the hopeful elect scattered across the four corners of the earth, wherever you may be. Just a quick testimony through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, uh, you know, about a week or so ago, you know, my job, pretty much, they wanted me to shave, you know, what little facial hair that I do have, pretty much wanted me to cut off my beard in order to keep the job. But, you know, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, I told them I need religious exemption, or pretty much I was going to walk, okay? And uh, come that, that following Monday, you know, to get the news on whether I was going to, uh, you know, keep a job or not. Uh, you know, Yahabah Shim Shai, he made a way, all right? You know, pretty much, you know, the boss man said that me shaving my facial hair, it didn't apply to me, okay? It did not apply to me, all right? And that's that's a, a call, hello, Yahabah Shim Shai, all praise to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay, because he made a way, man, so pretty much, you know, just going into this lesson, I'm going to title this, uh, to obey is better than sacrifice, okay, and we know uh, back then in the ancient days, you know, we used to have the high priests, you know, the, Le the Levitical priests, you know, you had the priests, but then you had the high priests, all right, who would offer up once a year, you know, a uh, sacrifice without spot or blemish, you know, pretty much for his sins and for the sins of the nation of Israel, you know, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today. But we know now, during this time, our high priest and our sacrifice is Lord Yahweh Shai, okay? You know, Yahweh Shai being the high priest, being that mediator between us and the Heavenly Father, you know, and, uh, you know, that sacrifice, that perfect sacrifice for the sins of the nation of Israel, okay? And yes, that includes all of Israel, okay? But that's another topic for another day. You know, if you don't get it, you know, continue to study, continue to read, continue to learn, all right, by the men of the Lord. So uh, just to get into it, uh, let me get to uh, the law real quick, the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 27 ye shall not round the corners of your heads neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard all right so that's self-explanatory we are pretty much not uh to touch our beards and our and our hair all right the hair of our head okay yeah how about shimmy i shy don't want us to be a uh, uh, clean shave you know like like the Hamites and, and, and so on and so forth, the Edomites out here in the world, like the heathen, okay? But let's go into the NLT real quick, Leviticus 19 and 27. Let me highlight that real quick. It says, do not trim off your hair on your temples or trim your beards, okay? Self-explanatory. How about you now? I don't want us being out here uh, clean shave with a suit and tie. Okay, or just clean shave, period. All right, yeah, how about Shimei uh, Shai has law, statutes, and commandments for his people? All right, that, that's what makes us a holy people, you know, a set apart people. Okay, going back to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Okay, so let me go ahead and get an account in the scriptures going into how to obey is better than sacrifice. All right, that's where I get that. that uh, that quote from all right from the scriptures it says um uh, pretty much before i read this let me get the context pretty much the uh the king of israel the king of israel saw you know he was instructed by the prophet samuel you know uh, uh giving orders from yahweh shim shai to kill the uh kill off the amalekites you know kill them all and destroy all that they have pretty much and uh, 
we know uh, Saul he disobeyed, you know, following you know the commands of the you know the, the people of Israel, okay, and uh, he pretty much they kept spoils which they were instructed to destroy, and he spared the king Agag, the king of the Amalekites. All right, that was just pretty much to give context. Now let me get to the point. First Samuel is 15 and 22. It says, and Samuel said. All right, that's the prophet Samuel. And, and Samuel said, Have Yahabashim Yahu Shai as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice, sacrifices as in obeying the voice of Yahabashim Yahu Shai. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams. Okay, and we know, you know, as I went into uh, in the beginning of this video. You know, we had the high priest to offer up sacrifices, you know, for his sins and the sins of the nation of Israel. So pretty much when uh, Saul and the people of Israel, they, they uh, you know, they took spoils of the Amalekites. They was they were supposed to kill it. They were supposed to kill all the, uh, let me read some of the spoils uh, that they took. Uh, they were supposed to kill the, the, their oxen, all right, the sheep. The best sheep, the oxen, they were supposed to kill all that, but they kept it to offer up sacrifices to Yahweh by Shimei was shy. All right, so pretty much Saul was uh, being uh, disobedient. He didn't follow the commandments of Yahweh by Shimei was shy. That's why the scriptures say to obey, pretty much to listen, keep the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shimei was shy, so that you won't have to offer up uh, uh, sacrifices. Okay. But um, verse 23, it says, For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And we know the scriptures, uh, it says that uh, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. You know, pretty much put it, put them to death. Okay? That, that's, that's, that's the uh, judgment of sin. Alright? Romans uh, 6 and 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the Most High is eternal life through our Lord, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Okay, so pretty much you how about Shimei Shai? He just wants us to listen, man. Keep his laws, that's your commandments. Okay, but you know we in this fleshly body. But continuing on, it says, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Okay, so to be stubborn, you know, you how about Shimei Shai? He told us to keep his laws, that's your commandments. He told us how we are to walk here in the planet Earth. All right. But, you know, you have two-thirds of the nation of Israel, they want to do their own thing, all right? They're being stubborn, and that, that's counted as iniquity, pretty pretty much sin, okay? And idolatry, pretty much, is as, is as they serving another power, okay? In Exodus 20 and 3, the Lord said that we should have no powers before him, okay? But our only power is Yahweh Hashem Shai. So if you're not following Yahweh Hashem Shai to the best of your ability... You're pretty much serving uh, idols. You know, you're serving Esau. Okay. It says uh, to read on because thou has rejected the word of Yahweh Shimei Shai, he have also rejected thee from being king. Okay. And Yahweh Shimei Shai, you know, pretty much took Saul out of power and set up King David. All right. If you if you, if you uh you know read the scriptures. Okay. So, so what's the point that I'm making here is pretty much obey Yahabashim Yahweh Shai, keep his law, statutes, and commandments. Alright? Because you know if you keep sinning willfully, you know the blood of Yahweh Shai is not gonna cover that, man. Because right now we got this grace period to get right with our power. You know, follow the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. Go out there and teach. Alright, continue to study, alright? And, uh, you know, we should not take this for granted. But let me get another precept to back up. Uh, to obey is better than sacrifice. All right. Please ask these uh, 12 and 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most high and keep his commandments. All right. For this is the whole duty of man. That, that, that's why we're here, all right? To follow the will of Yahweh Shemiah Shai. To continue to obey our power. You know, each and every day that we wake up, man, we pray to our power, we repent, 
okay? And we continue to walk in his law, statutes, and commandments day by day, man. Getting better. Uh, putting off the old man, if you will. It says, verse 14, For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Because the Lord is about to judge you, you know, according to your works, you know. Or as the scriptures say, He's about to judge every man according as his work shall be. All right. So everything that you do in this life is being counted, man. And we want to we want the blood of Hamashiach Yahweh to cover our past sins and our past life and any sins that we committed in this lifetime. All right. So that's why we follow the law, statute and commandments to the best of our abilities. OK. And we continue to have faith and hope in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, so that's pretty much all I wanted to get into, you know, just a quick testimony, you know, uh, yeah, how about Shemiah Shah, he sees the things that we do, you know, the integrity that we have in him, okay, and Lord will, you know, we be rewarded, you know, to be accounted worthy to be a part of the hopeful elect, okay, to receive salvation, so Lord will, this is edifying to the elect of the nation, Yahshua Allah, double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who teach and rule well, and shallow on to the hopeful elect across the four corners of the earth. Shallow on.